Story 1 It was supposed to be a relaxing family vacation in Kauai, Hawaii. The warm, fragrant air embraced them when they stepped off the plane, setting the tone for the paradise they were about to experience. The sun beamed brightly in the clear azure sky, casting a golden glow over the breathtaking landscape ahead. The swaying palm trees invited them to explore the pristine beaches stretching along the coast. Melanie, Anton, and their 12-year-old daughter, Mara, couldn't contain their excitement as they disembarked. This trip had been a much-anticipated event for months, and the anticipation had only grown as Seattle's chilly and rainy days took their toll on them. The daily grind had left them longing for an escape. Now it was like a dream come true to immerse themselves in the blissful surroundings of this tropical haven. They rented a charming beach house, a cozy sanctuary just steps away from the shore. As they stepped inside, the refreshing scent of the sea breeze greeted them, and the large windows offered breathtaking views of the ocean stretching endlessly before them. The family woke each morning to the gentle symphony of the waves crashing against the sand. This melody instantly set a serene tone for the day ahead. The beach house was a delightful discovery. Its rustic allure won them over at first sight. Seashell decorations and nautical-themed furnishings adorned the interior, enhancing the coastal atmosphere and making them feel right at home. Colorful prints of tropical flowers and framed photographs adorned the walls, reminding them of cherished moments from their past vacations and adding to the inviting ambiance. On the other hand, their days were a delightful blend of activities, each adding its own touch of adventure and joy to their vacation. The allure of the crystal clear waters was irresistible, pulling them towards the ocean's embrace. Melanie, Anton, and Mara couldn't resist the playful invitation of the waves, spending endless hours frolicking in the water. Their laughter mingled harmoniously with the calls of seagulls soaring above, creating a symphony of happiness. The family woke up with bittersweet emotions on their last day in the tropical paradise. The desire to extend their stay was palpable, but time constraints were inevitable. They were so determined to get the most out of the time they had left that they decided to go for one more swim. Excitement filled the air as they packed their beach bags with sunscreen, towels, and snorkeling gear. They headed hand in hand to the water's edge, where the sun shimmered on the surface. Laughter and joy echoed as they splashed in the shallows. They didn't notice the dark shadow lurking beneath the surface, watching their every move. The dark shadow lurking beneath the surface belonged to a formidable 12-foot tiger shark, one of the ocean's most dangerous predators. The shark had been actively hunting for food, using its acute sense of smell and keen eyesight to track potential prey. Sensing the presence of creatures in the water, it decided to investigate further, curious if they could be potential sources of sustenance. With calculated precision, the tiger shark glided closer and closer, drawn by its instincts and the promise of a potential meal. As it closed the distance, the water seemed to vibrate with anticipation. The shark's muscular body tensed, ready to strike opportunely. In this deadly game of predator and prey, the unknowing family played in the shallows, oblivious to the lurking danger beneath them. In a display of swift and calculated motion, the shark lunged forward, jaws agape, ensnaring Melanie in its deadly maw. The air filled with the sickening sound of bones crunching and flesh tearing as the predator's razor-sharp teeth viciously pierced her abdomen. The scene that unfolded was utterly horrifying. Melanie's injuries were severe, and blood gushed intensely from her deep wounds, creating a frightening pool around her. The once clear water turned a sickening shade of red, matching the eerie gravity of the situation. Her torn flesh exposed raw tissue, and the scent of blood mixed with the salty ocean breeze, creating a metallic tang in the air. Amid the chaos, Melanie's desperate cries of agony and terror filled the air, sending shivers down Mara's spine. Her tormented screams were a haunting reminder of the sheer terror she endured. Despite her bravery, it became painfully evident that Melanie couldn't match the monstrous tiger shark's strength and instinct. 
The predator overwhelmed her, becoming increasingly aggressive with each attempt she made to fight back. It thrashed around, treating her like a helpless ragdoll trapped in its maw. Time seemed to slow down during those terrifying moments as Melanie fought for her life. However, the odds were stacked heavily against her, leaving little hope for escape. Mara saw everything. She saw her mother being mauled by the shark. She saw the shark's cold black eyes as it thrashed about, trying to drag Melanie under the water. She saw her mother's face contorted in agony and fear. She felt a shock of horror and disbelief. She could not believe what was happening. She screamed at the top of her lungs, her voice piercing through the air. Her screams alerted Anton, who was lying on the sand nearby. He turned around and saw the scene of horror unfolding before him. He saw his wife in the jaws of the shark. He saw his daughter screaming for help. He felt a surge of anger and adrenaline. With adrenaline surging through his veins, Anton immediately sprang into action. Driven by an unwavering determination to protect his wife Melanie from the vicious predator. Ignoring his own safety, he hastily waded toward Melanie and the attacking shark, focusing on rescuing her. The moment he reached them, he unleashed a rapid flurry of punches and kicks, desperate to drive the relentless beast away from his beloved wife. In a desperate attempt, Anton tried various attacks, clawing at the shark's rough hide to no avail. But then he spotted a vulnerable spot, the shark's eyes. With unwavering determination, he latched his finger onto one of the shark's eyes, causing the predator to writhe in pain and recoil. Time seemed to stretch endlessly, but finally the shark relinquished his grip on Melanie and swam away. Anton wasted no time swiftly pulling his wife to safety, her body limp and bleeding. He wrapped his arms around her and did his best to stem the bleeding and keep her conscious. With relief and urgency, Anton cried out for help, desperately hoping someone nearby would hear his pleas. A vigilant lifeguard heard his calls and sprinted to their aid. Acting quickly, the lifeguard called for an ambulance and skillfully applied first aid to their wounds. He did his best to soothe them, reassuring them they would be all right considering how fortunate they were to be alive. Thankfully, the ambulance arrived promptly and rushed Melanie to the hospital. Her injuries were severe, and she required emergency surgery to address the extensive damage to her internal organs and the substantial blood loss. Melanie's condition remained critical for several days as she valiantly fought for her life. Anton also received medical attention for the shark bites on his arm and leg, he endured pain but remained in stable condition after receiving stitches and bandages. As Melanie continued her recovery in the hospital, the family decided to stay in Hawaii for another week. They needed time to heal physically and emotionally, cherishing each other's support as they processed the traumatic events that had forever changed their lives. Story 2 on a beautiful day in Maui, the sun's rays illuminated the island as Lexi and Ted embarked on a tandem kayak adventure. Having rented the kayak and eager to explore the coastline, they were filled with excitement. However, Ted had an extra special plan up his sleeve. With a diamond ring in his hand, he aimed to make this trip unforgettable by proposing to Lexi in a romantic gesture. As they paddled away from the shore, the picturesque scenery and the gentle breeze enchanted them. The waters revealed a vibrant underwater world with colorful fish, mesmerizing coral reefs, and graceful sea turtles. It truly felt like paradise, and they reveled in each moment together. Eventually, they discovered a secluded cove perfect for a romantic picnic. Anchoring their kayak, they disembarked to stretch their legs and indulge in sandwiches and fruit. Amidst the tranquil surroundings, Ted seized the moment, dropping to one knee to express his heartfelt proposal to Lexi. He took out the ring and showed it to Lexi. He told her how much he loved her and how happy she made him. He asked her to marry him. Lexi was speechless. She gave Ted a glance before returning her gaze to the ring. She felt tears in her eyes. She nodded and hugged him. Ted slipped the ring on her finger and kissed her. 
With hearts full of joy, they celebrated their recent engagement in Maui. Eager to share the news with their loved ones, they happily set off on their kayak, paddling away from the picturesque cove, laughter and smiles on their faces. But unbeknownst to them, a dark and ominous shape lurked beneath the tranquil surface of the water. A formidable 14-foot tiger shark, one of the ocean's most dangerous predators, was hunting for its next meal. Catching sight of the kayak's silhouette, the shark perceived it as potential prey. With instinctive precision, it closed in on its target. As the shark detected the vibrations and movements emanating from the kayak, curiosity got the better of it, and it decided to move in for a closer investigation. It swiftly opened its massive jaws and took a bite, causing the kayak to topple over. Lexi and Ted were taken aback by the sudden force that lifted their kayak out of the water. Their hearts pounded as they heard the ominous crunching sound of the shark tearing into their boat. Filled with panic, they desperately tried to maintain their balance, but their efforts were in vain. Within moments, the kayak capsized and they were both thrown into the water. Lexi's piercing scream echoed as the shark's massive head broke the water's surface, revealing rows of razor-sharp teeth glinting in the sunlight. The predator moved with incredible speed, targeting Ted's arm. In seconds, he felt an excruciating surge of pain as the monstrous jaws clamped down, crushing flesh and bone in a deadly grip. Despite the pain, Ted refused to succumb to the shark's frenzied assault. He used his free arm to punch and hit the shark's snout, hoping to disorient the beast and force it to release its grip. But the shark, driven by primal instinct and hunger, refused to relent, his powerful muscles overpowering Ted's weakening resistance. Startled but undeterred, the shark persisted in its relentless assault. With its head shaking violently, it remained steadfast in its determination to rip Ted's arm from his body. Despite the overwhelming danger, Ted refused to back down. Summoning every ounce of strength, he launched yet another forceful punch, hoping it would be enough to compel the predator to release its vicious grip. Meanwhile, Lexi watched in sheer horror as the life and death struggle unfolded. Desperate to help Ted, she frantically scanned their surroundings for anything that could aid them. Spotting their paddle floating nearby, she wasted no time and snatched it up. She swung the paddle at the menacing shark with trembling hands, striking it hard on its back. Feeling the impact, the shark was momentarily stunned, giving Ted a critical chance to break free from its deadly hold. Finally, it relinquished its grip on his arm and retreated, but its predatory instincts were far from sated. The creature circled the distressed pair, remaining close, its eyes fixed on them, waiting for another opportunity to strike. Amidst the harrowing scene, Ted's arm continued to bleed profusely, turning the water a chilling shade of red around him. Though in shock, he fought to stay conscious, aware that his life depended on reaching the shore swiftly and avoiding another potential attack. Through distress and pain, Ted's focus fell upon Lexi, who clutched the paddle with fear and determination. With whatever strength he could muster, Ted began swimming toward her, pinning his hopes on her assistance to get back into the safety of their kayak. Lexi's heart raced as she saw Ted swimming toward her with his injured arm. She desperately tried to aid him, reaching out with her free hand while holding onto the paddle with the other. Together, they struggled to pull Ted back into the kayak, an arduous task with only one paddle and one good arm between them. Just as they made some progress in their escape, a chilling splash disrupted the already tense atmosphere. The sound sent shivers down their spines, flooding them with dread as they feared the possibility of another encounter with the relentless predator. As the terrifying predator lunged at them once more, targeting Ted's vulnerable legs, he mustered all his strength. He kicked fiercely with his good leg, determined to keep the shark at bay and protect himself and Lexi. The shark's teeth grazed his ankle, but he clung tightly to Lexi and their paddle, refusing to relinquish either. In the battle for survival, Lexi courageously joined the fray, kicking at the encroaching shark with her legs while paddling furiously to create distance between them and the menacing predator. Despite their efforts, the shore seemed to draw closer with every stroke, 
but the relentless shark persisted, showing no signs of giving up the chase. Panic engulfed them as they spotted people on the beach waving and shouting, desperately offering hope for rescue. Finally, they reached the shallower waters where the shark could no longer follow. With a collective effort, they dragged themselves and their kayak onto the safety of the sandy beach, collapsing in a mix of exhaustion and relief. Yet even though they survived the harrowing tiger shark attack, their ordeal was far from over. Their bodies bore the marks of the struggle, and they knew they needed medical attention urgently to tend to their injuries and prevent any potential complications. People on the beach rushed to help them. They called for rescue and applied pressure to Ted's wounds. They wrapped him in towels and tried to keep him awake and calm. They comforted Lexi and checked her for injuries while waiting for the ambulance to arrive. After the terrifying encounter with the shark, the ambulance swiftly arrived and rushed Lexi and Ted to the hospital. The medical team sprang into action, providing Ted with the necessary surgery for his injured arm and leg, while also tending to Lexi's shock and minor cuts. Thankfully, both fully recovered and their physical wounds gradually healed. However, the emotional scars from the harrowing ordeal ran deep, etched indelibly in their bodies and minds. Story three. Toby's love for surfing began in childhood. He spent endless hours at the beach, daydreaming of riding the waves. His older brother, a professional surfer and mentor, taught him everything he knew. While Toby admired his brother's achievements in competitive surfing worldwide and took up the sport himself, developing his signature style along the way. Surfing was his source of joy and freedom, seeking the thrill of discovering new spots and conquering various challenges. He always searched for that perfect wave to make him feel truly alive. One day in the summer of 1982, Toby decided to surf at Ballina Bay in New South Wales, Australia. He had heard that the bay was a popular spot for surfers, especially during the winter when the swells were bigger and more consistent. He had never been there before, but was eager to try it out. He packed his surfboard and snacks in his car and drove to the bay. It was a beautiful, sunny, warm day with a gentle breeze. The water was clear and blue, sparkling in the sunlight. Toby parked his car near the beach and walked toward the shore. He saw a few other surfers in the water, catching some waves. He smiled and waved at them as he wore his wetsuit and waxed his board. Toby paddled out to the lineup, greeted and introduced himself to the other surfers. They warmly welcomed him, sharing information about the bay and its features. They cautioned him about the presence of sharks especially great whites near the seal colony on the opposite side. However, they reassured him that encounters with sharks were common but not highly perilous as long as he avoided acting like a seal or bleeding in the water. He decided to put his fears aside and focus on surfing. He observed the waves, looking for the right one to ride. He saw a big one coming and paddled hard to catch it. He stood up on his board and felt a rush of adrenaline as he glided down the face of the wave. He made a sharp turn and cut back into the curling lip of the wave. He felt like he was flying. He rode the wave until it broke and then paddled back for another one. He repeated the process several times, enjoying every moment of it. He felt happy and relaxed, forgetting about everything else. He didn't notice that he had drifted away from the other surfers toward the seal colony on the other side of the bay. He also didn't notice something else in the water with him, something big, dark, and hungry. He didn't notice until it was too late. Laying on his stomach on the surfboard, Toby eagerly waited for the next wave, anticipating a thrilling ride. However, his excitement turned to shock when he suddenly felt an excruciating pain in his leg. Looking down, he saw blood gushing from torn skin and flesh on his calf. Panic set in as he noticed teeth marks on his board, realizing he had been attacked by a shark. In a state of terror and agony, Toby saw the unmistakable dorsal fin of a great white shark rapidly approaching him through the water. The shark had mistaken him for a seal and launched a surprise attack. Desperate to survive, Toby knew he had to act quickly. He grabbed his surfboard 
and attempted to use it as a shield between himself and the shark. With his good leg, he kicked fiercely at the predator, hoping to either scare it away or inflict some damage. Despite Toby's efforts to defend himself, the relentless shark attacked again, violently shaking the board and dragging him underwater. Determined to survive, Toby targeted the shark's weak spots, delivering a solid blow to its sensitive snout. The shark recoiled in pain and swam away, allowing Toby to swim to the surface, gasping for air. The moment of respite and the rush of air filling his lungs was a welcoming sensation. However, he realized he was still far from safety, needing to escape the water quickly to avoid further danger. Toby waved and shouted in desperate need of help, hoping nearby surfers would notice and rescue him. Despite his efforts, they remained oblivious to his plight, filling him with despair and frustration. Summoning all his strength, Toby decided to swim toward the distant surfers to catch their attention. Despite feeling dizzy and weak from blood loss and shock, he propelled himself forward with his arms while being cautious with his mangled leg. After what felt like an eternity, he reached the other surfers. They were shocked and horrified by his bloody appearance, torn board, and the evident gravity of the situation. They immediately came to his aid, helping him out of the water and onto the shore. They wrapped a towel around his wound and applied pressure to stop the bleeding. They called for an ambulance and tried to calm him down. The ambulance swiftly rushed to the scene, transporting Toby without delay to Bellina District Hospital, where he promptly received critical medical care. Enduring numerous surgeries, he bravely fought his way to recovery. Though the scars constantly reminded him of the terrifying experience, Toby's perspective had shifted. Rather than fearing the ocean, he developed a profound respect for its immense power and the creatures it harbored.